making art um, probably after, during high school, but uh, I think I, I wasn't really good at it. I can, I can definitely think uh, think back and, and uh, I was always a good observer, um, but I never quite knew what to do with it. Uh, I think as I went through high school, I started being more intrigued by art, but then um, as I went on to design school, there was always there was still something more intriguing that that knew it would be out there. Uh, so I think it was being open to art history that really um, gave me a drive for it. It was like uh, hearing history retold again, but through a completely different context. It wasn't about wars. It wasn't about who was elected. It was about culture, and it was about uh, how. Uh, the way people were thinking, how that was developed and then turned into form. So, uh, the when was sort of when I got it, uh, I was always sort of interested in it, but then uh, the drive really came from real, just the basic uh, college level art. I think art is, is making a distinction. Um, people make distinctions by making things beautiful. People make distinctions by making them contemplative, but I think if you're distinguishing at all, separating it from the world around, in a sense making the object not normal, not everyday life, then therefore it has to have a purpose to be there. Um, when I think about uh, Jackson Pollock and I think about um, his paintings that he would do up in the studio, great big paintings where he put the on the canvas and he'd splatter all over it. And then he'd pick up that painting and he'd hang it on a wall. And he'd really ask us to look at it and contemplate what it, what it was about. But he never asked us to contemplate what was on the floor, left over. So just this idea of pulling from, in a sense, I like that image of pulling from the earth and putting it up. Um, you think of like something like the Garden of Eden. Well, what makes that different from the rest of the world? Well, a garden is usually, is usually organized. There's a design to it. There's an intention to it. So um, I think distinguishing with an intention, the intention to create beauty, which you know is is nothing small in of itself. I think it really taps into um, this idea of of uh, an, an eternal thing. People were thinking about beauty for ages. My work patterns are. Drawing, drawing, and drawing. I just, uh, I fill sketchbooks. Uh, I like to really uh, develop an idea and then just push it continually. Um, honestly, when I begin a work, I always pray. Um, I'm always thinking about um, how what I have is, is a gift um, and how um, connecting that to our Creator and, and working through that. Uh, is really important for me, just sort of setting the stage before I go in. I, I think that I'm going to explore, I know I'm going to explore as I, as I make the final piece. So it, it's just sort of uh, looking for a blessing there. Um, I often write afterwards, um, mainly so that it's almost like I, I don't want to miss anything about what I've done. Um, I'm the type of person who likes to plot along, make something, think about it, and then evaluate what I've learned from it. So that as I move into the next uh, stage, maybe it's, um, it's a subject or it's a type of thing I'm working with, um, I like to really delve into its own significance. So maybe it's a, a work that has arches in it. Okay, well, I don't know why I drew arches, but let's just draw it again and again and again and figure this out. And pretty soon connections start make, coming because I've drawn it in a context, an arch on top of something, an arch between something, something under it, and then, um, in a sense, developing an ultimate form of it, and then reflecting on, well, why was I drawn to, to uh, making that arch to begin with? And so that's my process is sort of 
uh, knitting together and then sort of pushing on from there. Drawing is seeing. Um, I don't even know that I, I emphasize. Uh, I think drawing is just is a, is a connection directly to seeing. Um, what I do mostly is see. I think at the end of the day, I, I do believe that I see different lead than others. Um, I think it's whether it's an act of note, whether it's noticing things. Um, but I, I guess I would say that having the eyes of an artist is is, is comparable to like maybe having the eyes of an, of a naturalist. When they go outside, they'll hear the specific kind of birds that are out there. They'll notice uh, little bugs that are around and they'll identify them. Um, they'll be in a sense more in tune to that. Um, so. Do I see differently? Oh, I see negative shapes. I see textures. I see how, um, I think I've referenced how, um, when I look at something, how I want to unmake it and then remake it for myself. So, it, it, it's a combination of things. You know, am I a naturalist? Am I more like a construction person who sees walls and says, well, I can take that down and rebuild it? I think it's, you know, being an artist is, is a, co a combination of those types of views. How can you, how can you feel the impact of, of the effect of things and, and in a sense redo that? You know, maybe even just thinking about that idea of um, looking for effects, subtleties, and, and, and building off of those. So, I guess I would say that, yeah, it's, I see different, I see differently than than others in their own scope. At the penitentiary, um, when you first go there, you, you have to take a tour. And during the tour, you're presented with cell after cell that's basically fallen and crumbled. Um, the museum is essentially preserved in a state of ruins. Um, as an artist reacting to a place like that, um, you have a choice. Do you delve into the past, the history of the place, you, do you work with what's there now? I wanted to react to what it was now. Um, in a sense, the piece at Eastern State is taking the materials that are already there um, and redesigning them. Um, plaster had fallen off the ceiling. And um, I wanted to bring it up to a certain line. When you are inside Eastern State, there's a green line about the shoulder height of of paint and then above that it's white and when you're outside the building you notice that um, the wall creates a sort of a horizon line so there's a horizon line outside of the building and there's a horizon line inside the building and um, someone quoted to me one time that um, art is about one's perspective meeting another and I thought Eastern State is a place where decisions are made for uh, inmates it was designed as a place of reform. So um, I wanted the cell, as you walk into it, to be a place of decision. On that line, are you going to look above where it's lighter or are you going to sort of look down below it? Um, also on the floor, there's uh, the stone, it, there's, there's a crushed stone, um, uh, the type that is found in the walls. I think on, on some level I just can't help it. Um, there's an itchiness to it. There's a uh, there's a need, I think, really to, to be significant. Um, and it's not just like, oh, I want to, you know, make everyone know about me. It, it's about seeing um, things around and, and wanting to make the connection. And, and instead of just sort of documenting it, wanting to play with it. Like, what can it do? Whether that be um, an effect, you know, uh, an effect of nature whether that be something that um, you notice how people interact. It's how do you put your finger on it? And uh, I think I'm always drawn toward uh, allowing that to sort of come to the surface.